On April 24, 1915, Turkish authorities in the Ottoman Empire began to systematically exterminate their Armenian subjects. Over the next three years, hundreds of thousands of Armenians were deported from their ancestral towns and villages. These so-called deportations consisted of death marches into the desert where men, women, and children died of dehydration, starvation, and disease if, that is, they had not already succumbed to torture, rape, and murder along the way. In the end, up to 1.5 million Armenians were massacred. The centennial of the Armenian Genocide was marked all over the world on April 24, 2015. While this day was dedicated to commemorating the victims, there were also demonstrations demanding recognition of the genocide. Why? because the Turkish government still denies that the systematic slaughter of the Armenians in 1915 constituted genocide. This, despite countless eyewitness testimonies, news reports, and government documents from Armenian, Turkish, German, British, and American sources, such as the U.S. Ambassador to the Ottoman Empire, Henry Morgenthau, who tried to convince his government to put a stop to what he called the murder of a nation. While more than 25 countries, including Canada, have officially acknowledged the genocide, this cannot make up for the fact that Turkey continues its denialism. Does it even matter that Turkey refuses to recognize the Armenian Genocide 100 years later? Or is it important to recognize this fact in history and challenge genocide denial? How might our point of view affect the way that we interpret our past and future actions? First. To tolerate genocide denial is to be complicit in the last stage of genocide. Extermination took away 1.5 million innocent lives. Denial threatens to take away the very memory of those lives. If denial succeeds, it will look as if the victims had never even existed. Following this rationale, if denial is allowed to erase genocide from history books, it would be impossible to commit to the mantra never again. In 1939, Hitler stated, the aim of war is to annihilate the enemy physically. Who today still speaks of the massacre of the Armenians? Could recognition of the race murder of the Armenians have discouraged Hitler from his own genocidal designs and perhaps helped to minimize the occurrence of future genocide? Encouragingly, over the past few years, in what Turkish-American historian Taner Akşam calls the Other Turkey, a growing number of Turkish writers, intellectuals, and human rights advocates have publicly acknowledged the Armenian Genocide and courageously called for the Turkish government to do the same, to come to terms with history. Although we often dismiss history as nothing more than times past, we must recognize that it informs our current and future perspectives, beliefs, and values. It's important, therefore, to acquire and maintain a truthful, uncensored account of our history, including the pages that bring us shame, as well as those that make us proud.